I lived in Minneapolis for a while in a Scandinavian neighborhood, probably second, third generation immigrants. They're wonderful people, great sense of humor. They used to tell little jokes about themselves. Their favorite characters were uh, Oli and Sven and Lena and Yalmer. Oh, I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but he just don't give a hoot. Now my youngest son is Yalmer. He's quiet like a mouse. He built himself an airboat plane out of a chicken house. Last night he went to bed and dreamed of doing the loop to loop. This morning here when he got up, he went out and flew the coop. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but I just don't give a hoot. Ole got tired of living alone, so he put an ad in the paper. Wanted woman to raise kids, marry, clean the house, cook, must have boat. Please send picture of boat. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but I just don't give a hoot. So Oli and Lena got married in Fargo, North Dakota, and they're on their way to the big city of Minneapolis for their honeymoon. And as they're driving along, Oli puts his hand on Lena's knee and she kind of giggles and said, Oh, Oli, we're married now. You can go farther than that. So he drove to Chicago. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but I just don't give a hoot. Oli is building Lena a fine new house. And Sven comes by and he says, Oli, I got a day off from the pickle factory. I'll help you build your house. What can I do? Oli said, well, go out there and nail the siding on the house. So he goes out and starts nailing the siding on the house. And a little bit later, Oli looks out there and here's Sven. He's picking up a nail. He's going, oh, toss it over his shoulder. Pick up another nail, look at it, and go bap, bap, bap on the siding. Pick up another nail, bap, bap, bap on the siding. Pick up another nail, look at it, toss it over his shoulder. Oli says, by golly, he says, I got to go out there and see what's going on. So he goes out and says, Sven, he says, thank you for helping with the house. You're doing a fine job of nailing the siding on the house. But he said, I was just wondering about the nails. I see you pick it up and go bap, 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 and pick another one up and look at it and toss it over your shoulder. Sven says, oh, it's those doggone Japanese nails. They put the head on the wrong end. Oli says, no, Sven, them nails is for the other side of the house. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but he just don't give a hoot. Oli is having his morning coffee. And he puts a cube of sugar on the spoon, you know how that goes, and you stick it in the coffee and soak it up and then you stick it in your mouth. So he's having his morning coffee and Lita comes down and she says, Oli, you got to do something about our sex life. He said, she said, it's just terrible. Why don't you go see Dr. Carlson? Maybe he can help you. So Oli goes to see Dr. Carlson and says, hi Oli, how's it going? Okay, I guess, but Lena says our sex life is terrible and it should come down and have you check me out. So Dr. Carlson says, well, let me look you over. So he examined him and he said, well, he, he says, you, you're in fine shape. He said, maybe a little exercise. Why don't you go out and walk a couple of miles a day and call me in 30 days and uh, see how it's going. So sure enough, 30 days later, Oli calls in 
And Dr. Carlson says, Hi, Ole, how's it going? Oh, okay, I guess. How's Lena like her sex life now? How the hell should I know? I'm 60 miles away from home. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but I just don't give a hoot. So they still had him trouble with his sex life. And one day, Sven goes over to the Ollie's and he hears the John Deere running in the machine shed. So he looks in there and here's Ollie taking off his shirt and he's dancing around and he's taking off his belt and then prancing around. And so Sven says, Ollie, what you doing? Oh, he says, this is Dr. Carlson's idea. Lena didn't like her sex life. And he said, maybe I should do a fancy dance to a tractor. Oof, da. I just don't give a hoot. I just don't give a hoot. He got plenty of troubles, but he just don't give a hoot.